Hello everyone, it is Monday 13th of June. We're gonna start lying down on our backs because we just finished an exercise on our back. So go ahead and get back onto your mat, lie down on your back and set your hands onto your tummy. So, on your back, sorry, I'll just move the chair out of the way. Have your knees bent right now. Knees bent, feet flat on the ground, and hands on the tummy. Where, around where your belly button is. So as you breathe in, feel that the belly expands, but especially the upper belly. This is where the diaphragm really moves your internal organs. And as you breathe out, feel that that upper belly sinks back down. So we don't want to actually have it move into the lower belly, okay? Just move the upper belly. This is a full utilization of the diaphragm. Keep your jaw relaxed, keep your neck relaxed. Taking deep, slow breaths in and out. And this is the type of breath we want to continually use throughout our practice, okay? Now notice, when you breathe this way, as you breathe out, you can also start to contract even more a little bit the belly. This helps also to work deeper core muscles. So try that now. Taking a deep breath in, you expand the upper belly. And as you breathe out, feel that you contract inwards. And you could also feel a lift of your perineum. So everything tightening up. Let's do that again. Two more breaths like this. Just to get used to this type of breathing, used to this type of movement. Good job. All right, let's stretch the legs onto the floor. Reach your arms over your head, reaching far behind you. Take another deep breath in. And as you breathe out, right knee comes up to the chest, pull it into the chest. And then breathe in and reach again. Both legs stretch straight. Breathe out, left knee comes up to the chest, pull it in. And again, let's breathe in and reach. Breathe out, pull the knee in. Breathe in and reach. Breathing out, pull the knee in. Good, one more time each side, breathing in, reaching, breathing out, pull the knee in. Last time, breathe in and reach, breathing out, pull the knee in and hold the left knee, making a circle with the foot. See if you can get some mobility into the foot, the toes, the ankle. Change the direction of the circle. Flexing your foot, push your foot to the sky, grab the hold behind the leg, hold just for a moment, and then re-bend the knee. Let the knee fall out towards your left, so you get an opening of the inner thigh, keeping both glutes touching the floor. And then changing, let your knee go over to the right, a little bit of a twist into the low back, very gentle, very smooth. Turning back onto your back, knee to the chest, nose to the knee, and release. For many of you students that follow along for many years, you recognize this. We've done this many times before at the beginning of class. It's a mobility sequence. Take another deep breath in, raise your arms over your head. And bring the right knee up to the chest now. Hold it up. So you will have switched legs. Big circle with the foot. 
We're mobilizing the joints. This is important to get them hydrated. Change directions. When you move your joints, you pull liquid into the joint. So it's super important to get them hydrated before you do any movement. Flex your foot and stretch your leg straight. I'm telling you this because if you tend to exercise in the mornings, or if you like to go for walks or jogs, always mobilize your joints before. Rebend your knee and open the knee up to the side. So you don't have to necessarily do this on your back before walking, jogging, or doing some morning exercise. You could do it standing. Simply move your joints. Change sides and go over for a little twist. We've done certain sequences before while standing in this class. Use those. It takes three to five minutes. Roll back onto your back knee to the chest, lift your head, nose to the knee. And then both knees up, nose in between the knees, releasing, bring one arm to the ear, roll all the way to that side. And just as we did at the beginning of class, breathe out, belly button in, perineum up, push into the floor to rise. Good job. Come up onto your hands and knees now. Knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. Take a deep breath in, curling the spine skyward. And as you breathe out, look to your belly button. Here we're mobilizing the spine. Breathe in, breathing out. One more time, breathe in. Spine and neck, breathing out. Good, come back to a flat back. Now let's get into the shoulders and the arms. Take your right arm, deep breath in, and we twist and open up, reach to the sky, breathe out, thread the needle, go underneath your body, turn your head, and again, breathing in, rise up, breathing out, twist, thread the needle. Once more, breathing in, and breathing out, thread the needle. Back to a square position, now your left arm, breathing in, rise up, twist, and breathe out, thread the needle. Good. And again, breathing in, breathing out. Once more. That's fantastic, everyone. Breathe in and breathe out. Back to center. Walk your knees back, tucking your toes under, rise to down dog or crouching cat. Good job. All right. Looking towards your hands, take a deep breath in and move into a plank position. So this sparks some energy into your core muscles. Breathe out and push back. We're getting into a bit of strengthening now. Breathe in. Plank position. Breathe out. Push back. One more time, get into some strength. Breathing in, keep the belly strong. Lower your knees, lower your chest. Point your toes, rise to a cobra. And push back, down dog or crouching cat. Opening your feet as wide as your mat. Walking your hands back. Fingertips down on the ground or on the floor. Lift your chin and begin bouncing. Bounce up and down, 10, nine, hips way back, eight, seven, getting the muscles loaded, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to the thighs, bring your right shoulder forward, look over your left shoulder, back to center, left shoulder forward, look over your right, back to center, Push against your thighs, coming up to an open squatted position. Arms stretched in front of you. Sink down and up. Here we go. 10, nine, little bit of strengthening. Eight, hips go way back. Seven, six, keep breathing deeply. Five, four, keep the knees wide. Three, two, here's the last one. Woo, come all the way up to standing. 
Step your feet in and step to the front edge of the mat. Good. Find your perfect posture, everyone. Knees soft, hips back a bit, chest lifted, ribs lifted away from hips, shoulders wide, arms stretched straight by your side. Get those triceps activated. I'm just gonna switch my camera a little bit so you might be able to see me a bit better. Hands to heart center, please. Now here we're gonna move in a fashion to raise our heart rate. This is the cardio portion, okay? So if you feel like it's too much, remember you can back off the movement, go more slowly, or you could just take a break and you can come back to stand and take some deep breaths. Let's go. Breathe in and we rise up, hands reaching to the sky. Bring your elbows down towards your knees, folding forward, and step back to a plank position. All right, strength, belly in, chest lifted. Lower your knees down. Now decide for you if you're gonna do a full push-up, chest goes all the way to the floor and back up, or you do a little half push-up, okay? Then we move all the way down. Point your toes, lengthen out, rise to a cobra and push back down dog or crouching cat. Raise your right leg up, press the foot up to the sky. Three, two, one. Now swing the leg forward, stepping yourself forward, front edge of the mat, hands to thighs. We get back into that chair position. We do it every time in the warm up. super important for it. Strengthen the thighs, backs of the legs and the glutes. Raise your arms and we press. Three, two, one. All the way up to standing, perfect posture. Bring your hands back to your heart center. We go again, deep breath in, folding forward. Stepping back to plank, strings here. Lower your knees. Do a half push-up or a full push-up. All the way down, point your toes, rise to cobra. Down dog or crouching cat. The left foot goes up. Press it. Three, two, one. Swing it forward. Stepping forward. Hands to thighs, lifting. Chair position. Bounce it. Three, two, one. Let's keep it going. Hands to heart center. A bit faster now. Deep breath in. Hold it forward. Stepping back to plank. Knees come down, one push up. All the way down, cobra, down dog or crouching cat. Right leg goes up, press it. Three, two, one, swing it. Come into chair, bounce it here. Three, two, one, all the way up to standing. Keep going, hands to heart center. Deep breath in, rise, holding it forward. That's great. Stepping back to the plank. Yes, strength, one push up, down and up. Good, all the way down, point your toes into cobra. Down dog or crouching cat. Left leg goes up this time. Press it up, three, two, one. Swing it forward. Coming forward to chair. Yes, keep your feet wide, Evelyn. Bounce it, three, two, one. Good job, coming all the way up to standing. Now everyone stick with me. We're gonna change things up. Hands to heart center. Deep breath in, fold it forward. Stepping back to plank. Okay, from here, lower your knees. You can do that little push up. All the way down, point your toes to cobra. Down dog, crouching cat. Okay, we're gonna really switch up here. Raise your right leg up, swing it forward as far as possible. Turn to your left. So I'm gonna turn away from the camera. I'm in a deep squat. Hands to the thighs, I'm gonna lift my chest, raise the arms up, pulling down three, raise them back up. 
two, I'm gonna deep squat, last one, one. I'm gonna turn everything forward. Reaching my arms forward, I'm in a deep lunge position. Back knee bends, yes. Setting my hands down, I'm gonna step my left leg forward, hands to thighs, coming up into chair, and I still bounce here, three, two, one. Coming all the way up to standing. Okay, got that? Other side, hands to heart center. Deep breath in, fold it. Stepping back to plank. One push up. All the way down. Cobra. Down dog or crouching cat. Left leg rises. Swing it forward. Turn to your right. Toes pointing out, knees pointing out. Hands to thighs. Lift up. You're in a standing open squat. Raise your arms. Pull down. Three. Two, make it strong, hips go way down. One, turn back forward, front edge of the mat, hands reaching forward, you're in a deep lunge. Yes, hands come down, step it all forward. Bend your knees, hands to thighs, chair. Three, two, one, all the way up to standing. Two more rounds, let's go, hands to heart center. Deep breath in. Holding it forward, stepping back to plank. One push up, all the way down. Cobra, down dog, crouching cat. Right leg up, forward, turn it. Hands to thighs, deep open squat, knees pointing out. Raise your arms, sink down three. Two, pull with the elbows. One, turn it all forward. Hands come down, stepping forward. Knees bend, hands to thighs, lifting into a squat, and we bounce it. Three, two, that's great. One, all the way up to standing, perfect posture. Hands to heart center, last round, stick with me. Breath in, hold it. Stepping back to plank. One push up. All the way down. Cobra. Down dog, crouching cat. Left leg lifts. Swing it forward. Woohoo! Open up into that deep open squat. Hands to thighs. Lifting. Raise your arms up. Pull it down. Three. Beautiful. Two. Yes, one, turn everything forward. Woo, hands down, stepping forward. Bend your knees low, hands to thighs. Lift, chair, and we sink. Three, two, one. All the way up to standing. Good job, everyone. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna move through it just until the open squat and we'll stay there. Ready? Hands to heart center. Deep breath in. Folding forward. Whew. Stepping back to a plank. One push up. All the way down. Cobra. Down dog or crouching cat. Raise your right leg. Swing it forward, turn it, hands to thighs, and come up to the open squat. Okay, I'm gonna stay here. Knees are pushing out towards the baby toes. Your knees are very wide. The hips are back, showing you from the side. It's a deep open squat. Super important to get the thigh bones back. Raise your arms up and into that cactus position and turn to your right, just the upper body. So we're working some deep core muscles. Evelyn, don't turn, you just stay, okay? Everybody else, turn. And we hold, three, two, one. Come back to center, 
Bring your hands down to the floor and turn your feet so they're parallel. Minimum one meter between your feet, minimum. Bring your hands all the way down as much as possible. Straighten your legs, but keeping the knees soft so you can bend at any time. Let yourself completely fold, folding forward. Folding here, deep breaths. Walk your hands now to your right foot. Bend the knee and go down as low as possible for you. Maybe it's all the way down, maybe it's halfway. Keep the hands on the floor for support. Turn your left toes up to the sky. Good. Lift up through the chest as much as possible. Hands stay on the floor, please. Good. Holding three, two, one. Push down with your hands to help lift back up and turn everything forward. Be sure that your back leg, your left leg, so you're turned forward to the front edge of your mat. You're not directly behind the front foot. There is, there's space between the feet, okay? Bend your back knee, hands to the front thigh, and you're lifted up into a lunge position. Hands to hips now, and we're gonna sink down five times. When you sink down, raise your arms up. Hands to heart center as you rise. Four, three, two, staying strong. Here's the last one. Push off your back foot. Come to the front edge of your mat. Perfect posture. Good, very good. Okay. Hands to heart center, we'll do the other side now. Deep breath in, fold it. Elbows come to knees and you step back to your plank position. Knees come down, do that one push up. All the way down, point your toes, rise to a cobra. Down dog or crouching cat. This time it's your left leg that rises and swings forward. Turn it. I'm going to be turning my back to you. Hands to thighs. Lift up into that open squat. Knees wide. Remember, from the sides, the hips go way back. Knees stay wide. They don't bend forward. You bend the knees back. Lift your arms up into the cactus. And we turn this time to the front of your mat towards the left. Holding here, turn mainly your upper body. Your lower body stays strong, hips back. Three, two, one. Coming back, bring your hands down to the floor, turn your feet parallel. This time, grab your ankles and gently let your head go down towards the floor. Legs straight, but knees are soft. Hold it here, three, two, one. Swing yourself to your left foot. So it's the foot that's at the front of your mat. You can lift the heel. You can go down as low as possible. Fingertips touch the floor, lift your chest, turn the right foot up to the sky. Hold it here, breathing, three, Two, one, push against the floor to help lift the hips, turning everything forward now for that deep lunge position. Be sure the back foot is out a little bit to the side for your stability. Hands to the thigh, help yourself up. That's important for the back. Hands to your hips, make sure you're stable. And here we go, we sink down, lifting the arms up, five, Four, stay strong in the front leg. It's the front leg mainly working. Three, yes. Two, woohoo. One, push off the back foot 
and come to the front edge of your mat. Well done. Hands to hips. Bend your right knee, bring it out to the side. You could be at the ankle, a little bit higher than the kneecap or the inner thigh. Arms up in a V. Lift the ribs. Lift and open the chest. Get the belly long, the waist long. Lift the eyes and focus on one point. Hands to hips, good job. Gently lower your foot. Woo. Other side, bend your left knee out. Ankle, a little bit higher than the kneecap or the inner thigh. Lift the arms, lift your ribs, and breathe here. Lowering the hands. Let's lower the foot softly. Good job. Step back to the front edge of your mat, please. We're going to move into plank position. We'll do some exercises in plank position. You can hold a classic plank if you wish, or you do the exercises with us. Hands to heart center. Deep breath in, let's rise. Fold it forward, elbows come to knees as you bring the hands down and step back to plank. Okay, you can stay here in your classic plank, head lifted, belly in. You can also lower your knees if you wish. All right, at any point you can lower the knees, it takes the pressure off. If you're sticking with me, let's work a little bit the upper body. We're gonna bring the right elbow down, left elbow down, keep the belly in, right hand back down where it was, left hand back down where it was. Okay, now the left elbow down, start left. Woo, then the right. Then the left hand down, and then the right hand down. Keep the belly in. Right elbow down. Left. Right hand. Left hand. One more. Left elbow down. Right elbow down. Left hand. Right hand. Good job. Lower the knees, everyone and lower the chest. Bring your head onto your hands and move the hips from side to side. Good job, very nice. Lifting up the head, chest, and shoulders. Bring your arms out into that cactus position. We've got a lot of cactus today. Lift your head, chest, shoulders, and arms, and lift the legs. Squeeze at the shoulder blades. Squeeze also the glutes and the backs of the legs. Hold here. Breathe deeply. And come on back down. For Evelyn, you can do the same thing on your hands and knees. You just lift one arm and you can lift the opposite leg. And then change with the other arm, opposite leg. For the rest of us, while Evelyn does that, Bend your knees, flexing your feet, touch your heels. Here we go into our, our modified bow. Deep breath in, push the heels into the hands, open the chest, lift your knees, stay here and breathe. Three, two, and one. Come on down, hands under the shoulders. Push up onto the hands and knees. And now, everyone, bring your hands off the right-hand side of the mat. Press your hips back for a little release of the back. Other side, hands come off the left, pressing the hips back. Coming back to center, walking your knees forward. Bring your feet to one side. And here we're gonna roll down onto our backs. As you roll down, hands behind the thighs, breathe out, pulling the belly button in and move down. All right, we're gonna do a whole series of bridge poses. First, hamstring bridge. 
Heels into the floor, knees slightly bent, arms by your sides. Lift the hips up and pull your heels towards your hips. Lengthen the neck, relax the jaw, and we hold while pulling the heels in. Bringing your hips back down, stepping your feet in. Good. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees wide. Push the feet together, lift your hips up, pull the perineum up and in. And we're gonna press for little pulses. This is frog bridge. Push up higher, 10, nine, One more, good job. Bring your hips back down, excellent. Separate your feet, hip width, knees hip width. This time the elbows can go into the floor. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lift your hips up. Now we're gonna squeeze the knees in together. When you do that, breathe out and pull the perineum up to the belly button. Ready, here we go. Breathing out, 10, nine, Breathe in as you open the knees. Seven. Six. Keep going. Good. Once more. Ah, bring the hips back down. Well done. Now we're gonna do our classic yogic bridge. Elbows into the floor, squeeze again the shoulder blades, lift your hips up, you've got the glutes working, you've got the back curving, you've got the belly flattening out and lengthening. You could also pull up your perineum and hold. And we breathe here. Focus your attention on your breath. Good. Raise your arms over your head, reach behind you, and gently lower the back one vertebra at a time. Very, very slowly. Nice. Open your feet as wide as your mat and let your knees fall to your right. Reach your arms far behind you and just relax. Evelyn, you can do this just with one knee. Open it up to the side without completely twisting. And we change sides. Let the knees fall to the left. Lift one knee at a time. Good. Bring your arms down, bring your feet in, and cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Take your right hand and push the right knee away from you. There's gonna be an opening of the front of the hip socket here. Just take a couple of deep breaths. Again, you wanna focus your breath right at the diaphragm region, just underneath the ribs. Now lift both knees and pull them in towards the shoulders. Hold them in there. Bring the left foot down. Let the knees fall to your left spinal twist. So, Evelyn, instead of the spinal twist, 
You could bring your right knee up and pull it even closer towards your shoulder to get that opening of the back of the hip while keeping the belly free, okay? All of us will roll to the left-hand side. Edeline, you too. Roll to your left, grab your right ankle, push the knee back and get into a, a quadricep stretch. Lifting the right knee to the right shoulder, roll back onto your back and bring the foot flat. Crossing your left leg, left ankle over the right. You'll take your left hand and push against the thigh or against the knee. You'll feel an opening in a, and a, actually a rotation in the hip socket. You can place your opposite hand at your belly. Be sure you're breathing from the diaphragm. Release, lift both legs, grab behind the thigh and pull the knees in towards the chest. Relax your shoulders at the same time. Bringing your right foot down, keep the legs crossed, let your knees fall to your right. And of course, Eveline, you can get into a deeper hip stretch, lifting the knee towards the outside of the left shoulder. The rest of us in spinal twist. Roll all the way to your right hand side, right arm under the head. Grab a hold of the left ankle and push the knee behind you. Getting that quadriceps stretch. Good. Bring the knee towards the shoulder and gently roll onto your back, everyone. Reset your feet flat, knees bent. Clasp your hands and make a circle on the sky with both hands. Make the circle get bigger and bigger. And come back to center and change the direction. Releasing, bring the hands behind your head, elbows around the head and in front of the eyes. Lift your chin, getting a stretch down the back of the neck. And turn your head to the right, see if you can see your right ankle. Come back to center, go to your left, see if you can see your left ankle. Back to center. Softly lower the head to the earth. Bring your left hand onto that diaphragmatic area just below your ribs. Place your right thumb onto your right nostril and close it. Begin breathing in and out of your left nostril. about five deep breaths in and out through the left nostril.
Very good. After those five, we will change. Take the two middle fingers, so the middle and the ring finger, and close off your left nostril. So you breathe in and out through your right. About five deep, slow breaths like this. Being sure that you're using the diaphragm for these breaths. Now, after those five, alternate your breath. Breathe in through the right, close off with your thumb, breathing out through the left, keep the left open, breathe in through the left, close off with your fingers and open the right, breathe out. Breathe in through the right, close, breathe out through the left, in through the left, close, and out through the right. Keep going for about another minute. Well done, everyone. Bring your hands back down either onto your belly or by your sides. Stretch one leg at a time onto your mat. And let's begin softening the body. Soften and relax your feet and your legs. your hips, low back, and lower abdomen. Soften the waist in the middle of your belly, around your navel. the chest and the upper back. Soften the shoulders. We often hold tension in the shoulders and the neck. See if you can allow that tension just to drain out and move down towards the earth. Softening the arms and the hands. Soften your jaw.
And when you soften the jaw, sometimes simply by relaxing the temporal mandible joint, it can improve your breath and improve the exchange of oxygen throughout your body. Relax all the other muscles of the face, around the mouth, the nose, the eyes, the forehead, Soften even the scalp and the hair. And as you relax here, in the next few moments, Imagine the blue sky above. Clear blue with an absence of clouds. And imagine that that becomes your mind, clear blue broad sky, absence of clouds. Allow yourself to settle under that blue sky. And begin gently moving your fingers and your toes. Move your hands, your feet. Raise your arms over your head, stretching from fingers to toes. Good job. Lifting your knees up against your chest, squeeze them against your chest and rock gently from side to side. Yes. Rolling all the way onto one side. Now remember, we're working on this today. Pull your belly button in, breathe out, lift the perineum as you lift yourself from one side to come to a seated position. Yes, very good. Let's rub our hands together. Bring your hands over your face, gently tapping around your eyes. Shake your hands out and we'll do that one more time. Bring the hands together over the face, gently tap around your eyes, shaking out. Good. Bring your fingertips to either side of the mouth for a quick yoga for the face. I want you to pull the skin over the lips. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, Blow out through your lips like through a straw while pulling. Breathe in, mouth closed. Breathe out. Three more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. In. Out. Last one. Very gently. In. Out. Hands to your heart center. Well done. Have a lovely afternoon, everyone. Namaste. Good job. Fantastic.